I uh, just thought I'd take a, a moment to uh, to shoot a little film of uh, this is a uh, this is a smoking cabinet that I made. Um, uh, what I did here was I took a uh, a wine box um, and uh, dropped the uh, dropped the shelf that's normally along the top lower down and then cut out the the back of the uh, the box. Uh, and stained it. Uh, I made the doors uh, and they've got like ebony uh, doorknobs. There's a brass key. Uh, there are things like uh, bone uh, inserts in the doorknobs. Uh, there's a, a, a head of a, uh, what is it? A rhinoceros, not a rhinoceros, a hippopotamus up here uh, at the top. Um, which was uh, from a kind of African uh, wood carving. And then you've got a rest uh, around the top of it to put your pipes. And then inside, if we open it up, uh, what I did here was I made uh, a kind of... Uh, uh, this, is, this is kind of mimicking a, an old music hall, if you like. Uh, I was trying to sort of create something that kind of had a 19th century... Uh, look about it uh, and if you look in here we've got a, an older tea caddy tin um, and all the back and the insides of the uh, of the cupboard have been uh, decorated in sort of reproductions of old adverts and pictures from the kind of uh, 19th century so there are things like uh, uh, gun uh, advertisements for old Colt pistols, uh, Mauser rifles uh, various different tobaccos. There's a picture of Mark Twain there. Uh, early uh, sort of uh, uh, West, Wild West kind of uh, train cool. here. We've got factories and foundries. Uh, more sort of engines. Uh, old uh, tobacco adverts again. Uh, and what I was trying to do is kind of create something that kind of had a, an oldie, worldy look about it. Uh, there's a, another box here. This this kind of gives you an idea of what the wine boxes are like. This is uh, one that I've been working on and working on for ages and I haven't done anything to it. But it's going to have doors and shelves and uh, this is going to be a Buddha which is going to get painted and there's a Japanese, Chinese uh, sort of uh, stem ginger uh, tin here uh, and that's going to be decorated. So that's another one. Uh, and in my smoking cupboard, what have I got? Uh, I've got various tobaccos, uh, American Spirit, that's kind of uh, cigarette tobacco. Every now and again I like a cigarette. Uh, sort of uh, pipe uh, tools, uh, a couple of lighters, a Zippo lighter, some more tobacco. Uh, a little dabber here, uh, kind of a little uh, dabber that I made out of a piece of wood. It's got bone and horn on the, the top of it. A couple of old Sheffield uh, sort of smoker's knives. I really like these. These are lovely little tools and they're so easy to carry in the pocket. Uh, an old uh, map, uh, match striker which is uh, made of uh, uh, kind of deer horn. I've got no matches in it at the moment but that I think was uh, Swiss or Bavarian. And then a, a few pipes at the top. Um, but yeah I had a lot of fun making that. It was quite a bit of work. Uh, I have to say it actually took a, a lot longer than I thought. And I've used uh, kind of brass fittings, brass hinges uh, and little brass fittings here with a magnet that kind of holds the door. Um, but I, I, I just thought people might be interested in that. Um, great way to kind of store all your, your pipes and tobacco in one place so you, you don't keep looking around for where all those tools are. Uh, and uh, today I'm smoking my, I think it's uh, Dr Plum, Mr Plum pipe, uh, which is a you know, good size, uh, very comfortable, very nice, uh, just with some mellow Virginia tobacco, uh, just chilling out in the workshop, which I'm uh, taking apart to move. Uh, and I just thought I'd take a little time and show people uh, my little smoking cabinet. Oh, yeah, it does lock, does shut. Uh, and it is on the... Uh, is suspended by one, one screw on that little brass bracket which I made there. But anyway, there it is.